All right, so why did I choose to get started with Shopify dropshipping? Obviously, I'm trying to make money. I'm trying to buy a Lambo. I'm trying to get a big ass house. Excuse my language. Travel, do all these cool things, don't we all? Now, for those of you guys that don't know me, my name is Juan Valdez. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the V Fam. The V Fam is a movement and a family of people that are striving to do a lot more than what society has offered us to do. Some of you guys may have heard my story about why I chose to get started with e commerce and dropshipping. I saw the potential in the skill sets that I was going to learn from running a successful e commerce business to be a lot more valuable than pretty much any other opportunity that I saw that was out there. So when it comes down to e-commerce and drop shipping and the, bus, the whole business overall, knowing how to really set up a website that's successful, you know, having different things like all the cognitive biases that's going to make people want to buy, knowing how to do product research, how to find hot and trending products at the time, driving traffic, narrowing down how to find specific audience for specific products, and knowing how to build a back end business and also knowing how to automate your business. These are all very valuable skill sets. Once you're able to learn these specific skill sets, you're pretty much always going to have, you know, money making opportunities. Like now up to date, we get tons of opportunities day in and day out to, you know, work with other business owners, take care of the digital marketing, all all these different things. We recently had one of our P2P dropshipping accelerator students, Jerson. For those of you guys that don't know, me and my business partner, Samir, did put together what we call the P2P dropshipping accelerator. It pretty much teaches you guys everything that we know from step A to Z. You know, we go over all the strategies that we use to go from zero doing door to door sales to making 224K a month with Shopify dropshipping. Our student Jerson has already, he's been in the accelerator for a little bit of time now, so he's already got his own stores going, but he's been able to generate another source of income using the same skill sets that he learned within e-commerce and dropshipping. And that's what I wanted to share with you guys. To kind of get started, you guys can see right here, he says, I'm very big on gratitude, so I wanted to say thank you to Samir Chabain and Juan Valdez for showing me Facebook ads and the digital aspect of e-commerce through the course. I took it all and applied it to my marketing agency, and this is what I close now. It's all profit too. Use what the course teaches you and apply it in every way possible. I still tell Samir he undercharged me like, uh, a mother effort for the P2P. <laughs> I still do e-commerce, but I teach others now and I get a percentage of their sales, just use as leverage. So it looks like this week right here, he made about $4,000 all profit, right? So you can see one week, this was January 31st, so it was recently, it's not, I'm not just making this up. So I wanted to find out exactly what he was doing because from there I didn't really get to understand exactly what you know he was doing or charging people for. But I, I scroll down here and it looks like somebody else actually asked for me, what do you do exactly? Just a brief summary, he's curious. I do digital marketing, marketing for chiropractors. I use the same strategies Samir Chabain teaches in the P2P for Facebook. What he's doing is he's using the same skill sets that he learned from the P2P dropshipping accelerator, using the same skill sets to actually, you know, help other business owners that already have products that they want to sell, helping them drive more traffic and really make more sales online. Because when it comes down to it right now, there are tons of businesses that don't know how to really do any kind of digital marketing. And that's obviously an area of opportunity for a lot of you guys that are watching. So the reason why I wanted to share this with you guys is because me and my business partner Samir, after you know we had spent the time to you know obviously uh, set our store up, test new product. After we started getting results, we then hired a team that obviously helps us run our business. And from there, we were able to then, you know, scale and also work with other business owners that already had these products. We actually had business owners that were referred to us that already had great products that they were selling, but they weren't really, you know, selling enough of it online. And the reason why was because they didn't have an optimized website because they didn't know how to set up an optimized website. They also weren't driving the right kind of traffic and they weren't even utilizing Facebook ads and you know, really taking advantage of how they can market this product online. We actually found that as an area where we could come in and basically do use the same skill sets that we were using for our e-commerce business and use it into their business to help them generate more sales and get more results. So we actually ended up doing this and by doing so, we actually got to pretty much open up a new stream of income and somewhat of a separate business, specifically being like a consultant for these businesses and helping them get more clients. Again, using the same skill sets that we were using for our e-commerce business. When it comes down to it, basically there are two things that businesses, all kinds of businesses will always need pretty much forever. They're always gonna need sales and they're always gonna need marketing. So if you guys are able to master the skill sets within e-commerce and dropshipping, there's a much bigger picture than just, you know, setting up a Shopify store, selling dropshipping these products from AliExpress. Like obviously you guys can do that and make a good amount of money doing it. Like that's what we do up to date. We run our stores. You know, obviously we keep our stores running and we're trying to launch new stores and obviously scale that part as much as we can. But we're also scaling in different areas and this is obviously an opportunity you guys can take advantage of. You know, these skill sets, the reason why I wanted to learn these skill sets was because I know that if I can master 
you know, these specific skill sets, I'm basically always gonna have tons of opportunities coming my way. And I'm always gonna be able to have these skill sets if I wanna launch any new business. I thought I'd take a second simply to share that with you guys because I know a lot of you guys watching, you obviously wanna skill up. You guys are showing me, you know, you're supporting me along the way, you're watching my videos because you guys wanna skill up, you guys wanna obviously do a lot more than the regular thing society is out for us to do. So some of the ways you guys, you know, can do that is by really learning some of the skills that are really needed. So sales, you know, you basically, every single business is always gonna need sales and marketing every single business will also need it. So if, if you guys, you know, try out e-commerce and dropshipping, again, it's not easy, it's not for the weak, it's for people that are committed and are willing to really put in the work to make it work, but if you guys can master the skill sets within e-commerce and dropshipping, you're basically never gonna be without, you know, opportunities. You know, you guys can check out some of the things that we're doing and the reason why we're able to do these things, like now we get invited to speak at, you know, some of our mentors' uh, conferences, like Ty Lopez, to speak you know, on the skill sets that we have and that we were able to master through e-commerce, right? That what we do for marketing, different areas. And the reason why we're able to do that again is because we mastered these skill sets. So uh, I hope you guys got value from this video. If you did, make sure you leave me a thumbs up. Also leave me a comment. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the B fam, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.